Possibly the coolest, most nostalgic foldable smartphone I have seen was just unveiled by Motorola Wednesday night. They teased the phone in October and did a pretty good job keeping it a secret all the way up until the launch event. It's called the Motorola Razor, and it's been in development for four years, and it comes about 15 years after the launch of the original Motorola Razor V3. And it's essentially a 2019 or 2020 version, modern version, of the iconic flip phone from the mid 2000s. That was actually my very first cell phone. I had it in junior high. So seeing a modern version of the phone that started it all for me is something really, really special. It has pretty much the same Razer clamshell design with an OLED display on the outside for checking notifications and interacting with them. And there's a full-fledged foldable 6.2 inch OLED display on the inside that's only possible thanks to this innovative hinge. Now I haven't had a chance to get my hands on a unit just yet, but shout out to MKBHD, Michael Fisher, The Verge, Android Central, and some of the other channels for doing a great job showing off the phone and showing off how the hinge works. What's especially impressive is how there doesn't appear to be really any noticeable crease where the display folds open, which is not the case with the Samsung Galaxy Fold or the Huawei Mate X. And when you fold open the display, it slides down ever so slightly into the bottom chin. So to me, it looks like this would be, you know, a great way for dirt and debris and water to get into the phone and ruin it, ruin your $1,500 device but Motorola says it's actually splash resistant and they didn't seem to be too concerned at all about durability uh, when they were launching this phone at their event. Obviously we could see some issues where dirt becomes trapped beneath the display or the hinge just stops working once more review units are sent out and people start actually testing these phones more. Uh, but upon first impressions, those who have had their hands on the device, they seem to think that it's pretty tough. And just the fact that Motorola doesn't seem too worried about durability is a pretty good sign. Now this phone is a reinvented version of the original Razer. So Motorola is trying their best to keep with the same core design features with some added 2019 elements like a fingerprint scanner built into the bottom chin and a USB-C port on the bottom sandwiched between the bottom facing speakers. The new Razer has nearly the same footprint as the original, which is very impressive. It's just slightly thicker when it's closed and in the clamshell position, but when it's opened up, it's nearly just as thin as the original. So when you have it open, it's nearly the same size as like an iPhone 10, only just a little bit taller, uh, but when it's closed, it's roughly half the size and it takes up roughly half the size in your pocket. So I don't think, you know, most people are gonna have an issue fitting something like an iPhone 10 in their pockets. So this design may not appeal to as many users as something like the Galaxy Fold, which uh, opens up more into a, a tablet, but um, it looks like it's doing a great job matching the look and feel of the original, which is what Motorola was going for. Unfortunately, with a design like this, there are going to be some drawbacks. First of all, since it employs the newest foldable display technology, it does carry a premium price of $1,500. Second, it has the specs of a three to $400 smartphone. Uh, there's a Snapdragon 710 processor with six gigabytes of RAM, a 16 megapixel main camera, and measly five megapixel front facing camera, and only a 2510 milliamp hour battery with no wireless charging support and only 15 watt fast charging support. It's really a phone that's in its own class and I don't think it really should be compared uh, directly with some of the traditional flat non-foldable smartphones we have today. Um, it's actually one of the first phones I've seen in a while that makes me forget about the not so great specs because of just how amazing the design is. I can't wait to flip open the lid and accept a call and then when I'm done, just close it and slap it shut and have that really satisfying sound every time I hang up on someone. It's gonna be so great. The portability is going to be a nice perk and the nostalgia blast is going to be very nice as well. Even if it goes away after a couple of weeks, it's going to be very fun sharing that feeling with others as I use the phone day to day. Michael Fisher points out in his video that the original Razer phone, it launched for $600 and it had a small battery, it had poor software, it had mushy keys and a dim display, but Motorola went on to sell 130 million units in only four years. So 
that's something to consider. Now, obviously the smartphone market nowadays is, is way different. It's a lot more crowded, but I think we're gonna see a, a surprising number of people pick up this phone all for that nostalgic design. So I gotta give credit where credit is due and give Motorola thumbs up on the design of this phone. Is it gonna be worth $1,500? Well, for most people, that's a no. But if you're someone like myself who owned the original and you get a really, like you get like a nostalgia high from seeing this design, I think it could actually be worth it. Only time will tell. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on a unit to reviewing it for myself and ultimately helping you make a more informed decision as to whether or not you should pick up this device. With that said, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.